Right, I'm going to talk you through this 2.5 litre five cylinder uh, AXD, AXE, BX, PC, BPC, or whatever it is, Volkswagen timing kit. Because a lot of people see this and then they get a little bit, um, what's the word, a little bit intimidated by it. I'm going to tell you what the stuff does. So, this one here, this goes on the end of the crank, which goes on. Get to focus just up there on the end of the crank you can see the silver up there with the two uh, two uh, spline bolts in it there's two holes that these go into and they can only go around one way if you look one's closer than the other one to the center line and then you take one of these allen bolts down here put that through it and bolt that into the end of the crank then you can turn the crank and what you're doing is you're turning it around until this line lines up with can I show you? Just there on the side of the timing case, you can see, or on this side of the end of the crank case, you can see there's a, a dash. It lines up with that line there. And those two spine bolts will be at the bottom. And then number one will be top dead center. And then this, with this pin, I've dropped it on the floor. This, you remove, you remove that, and then you take this thing, and this is the crank locking tool. That's going to go same thing into the pins up. Then this here, that pin's going to go through that, and on the side of the engine, it's going to go into where this mounting bolt is. So you've got to take this engine mount bolt out. Then you've got two different cam locking kits for whether or not you've got the engine um, bracket on. So one of them, which I think is this one will go in the hole down there in that freeze plug hole let's see should go in there anyway and then it will hook into the end of the cam there and then you've got these pins at the end here and what you want to do is make sure that the cam is turned so the, the lobes at this end are up in the air so the valves are shut and then you know you're in the right place so you're going to lock the cam lock the crank we're going to take the bolt out we're going to put this pin through and then you're left with some other bits but this is for the um so they're not the cog the gear that goes on the end of the cam but the gear that goes between that and the rest of the timing gears this is used to align it and you'll see when you look at the gear these two pins go into the end of the gear and it's concentric or it's on a concentric carrier so you turn this to move the cog back to the other two cogs i can show you that in another video when i'm doing the actual timing so we've got that one for when you've got the well, one of them for when the engine mounts on and one when it's off. I think that's for when it's on and this is for when it's off, but you'd, you'd know because only one will fit. This is a clamp that goes onto the cam drive gear. And the idea is you bolt this on really tightly and then you push it away from you and that then takes the, the lash out of the gear. So when you do the nip, the, the nut up in the end of the, sorry, the bolt up in the end of the camshaft, first of all, it's not sort of loose it's pulled right back and everything's timed up and then once you've done that this one then bolts on and you have both of the gears in the front end then this will bolt on to the to the so you have the, the intermediate gear and the camshaft gear in place this sits on top and then you bolt this up really tight and that's what holds it while you do it up to 150 newton meters or whatever it is i mean it's done up mega tight so hopefully that's been useful to people who wonder what this stuff's for so again for turning your crankshaft, locking the crankshaft, locking the cam, preloading the camshaft gear. So everyone locking the camshaft gear and doing up the, the bolt to stupid talk. That's what slots into the hole for this, for your crankshaft. And then this is for the concentric carrier on the intermediate gear. And then your two little bolts, one for, I don't know why there's two in here to be fair, but anyway there's some bolts in there and that's it.